Hi everyone, this is Yuan Jin, and today we'll be talking about Zoom H5 audio recorder and our audio kit. So let's dive in. Um, when you get the audio kit, you will get a Zoom H5 recorder, a Sennheiser microphone, and also the microphone accessory, also a headset, and uh, a few um, XLR cables. So um, I'll show you how to use the Zoom H5 recorder to record high quality audio. The first part is about the external ports of the Zoom H5 and uh, we can see the SD card is in here and uh, we go, um, the front is facing up, go this way and we can insert the SD card. It doesn't need to be super large, 8 gigabytes is pretty enough. And uh, the battery, uh, it uses AA, AA battery and it goes to the back and we can use this black strip to get it out easily and uh, um, these batteries are chargeable but you can also use your own battery uh, and uh, here there are two XLR ports the Zoom H5 port is the female one and uh, the cable is the male one and if you connect it there uh, it can record it into um, source one and uh, here, this is the power on button. If we hold it for three seconds, the Zoom H5 can be turned on. And it can also be powered by a DC USB cable, but now we are using the, the battery. And here, the most important thing is we need to monitor the audio quality with a headset. And you can see there is a green port, and that's the audio output and we can monitor it and the volume here um, it's to adjust the monitoring volume so it only affects what you hear in the headset but it doesn't affect the actual audio file that is recorded that's very important so if you want to adjust the audio level don't adjust it here but adjust it here so right now we are connecting this to port 1 so we will adjust it here and you can see if I hold the mic microphone here, like it's now peaking, it's too loud. And if I adjust it a little bit to about four to five, then it's between negative 12 and negative six. So this is good. Um, and uh, sometimes maybe you don't see anything on the screen and that's because you didn't turn the uh, one and two on. So you need to press the button there, the four buttons uh, are there because we can not only use the external microphone but there are two microphone on top of the Zoom H5 which um, can be turned on with the L and R basically this is L and R and uh, that is also handy if you are doing some interview but for filmmaking uh, we mostly only use the external microphone and um, the Sennheiser microphone has very good audio quality this microphone alone is like about 800 bucks so it um, it can record very good audio quality and then the next thing i want you to look at is the three settings here so we can see we i set this to be 48 24 it means 48k hertz 24 bit um, and uh, there, there are some other things over there and i'll talk about later so to make a film, we usually record the audio to be 48K Hertz and we can set it to set it in the record and there's a record format and 48K Hertz, 24 bit. This is the largest format, but the audio file is not that large compared to the camera footage. So we get the highest quality um, format is the 48 K hertz. This is the sampling rate. Basically, the higher the the rate of sampling, like you can uh, cut it easier. Sometimes, if you choose to be forty four point one, then like there's just like one frame, and uh, the audio just cannot be matched to the camera audio. So, I would always choose the forty eight K hertz, and uh, yeah, that's important. The next is about the powering of this microphone. So we can see that like here, the, the microphone can use the battery. We can turn the battery on here, but I can also turn this battery off and you can see like there, we can still record. 
without the battery on in the microphone. How does that happen? That's because we turned the phantom power on. So like here you can see 48 volts in one and two. So these two ports now have the phantom power and it's 48 volts. Um, in that way, the Zoom H5 is um, kind of supporting the microphone with its own battery. Um, so how do we set that? It's in in and out, going to in one, two, phantom, on and off, like input one, we can turn it on or off. Like now we turn it on so, so it can support the microphone with uh, Zoom H5's battery. Uh, I always recommend doing that because this battery like lasts for a long time and it doesn't harm you when you turn the battery on. The next thing is about the recording level of these two ports. So I set negative 20 dB for input 2. That's because um, sometimes if you know someone will be, your actor will be shouting or um, it will be pretty loud and uh, maybe just like turn that on. So I'll show you how to turn it, that on. So still in, in and out, there is a, um, there is a one, two pad, negative 20 dB, and then we can set it to be like, like right now, input one is off, input two is on. So this one will be like negative 20 dB. That's for some outside scene that is super loud or Mm, yeah, yeah, just super loud. So you, you, you don't want the microphone to be peaking. But right now, like a normal talking, talking head or um, just conversation, it will not be that loud and uh, we can just use the normal one and it's between four and five. And if you turn the negative 20 on, it will likely be like the gain needs to be eight or, or, ten, or eight or nine. So right now, four, between four and five, it's good and if the audio is peaking you can see like the they are flashing and uh, you never want the audio to be peaking otherwise it sounds pretty bad um, all right and that's pretty much it and um, and a few other settings is that that that's quite kind of important is um, yeah of course SD card uh, you can format the SD card and then you will have a fresh new SD card. That's always important. When you get this, I think the first thing you need to do is to format the SD card. Uh, and also, after you format the card, you can also choose the folder. There are, by default, 15 folders, and you can choose an empty folder, like right now. I choose folder 2. It's empty. And I can also choose it to 1. I already recorded a few things in folder 1, so there will be a few um, audio files in there. So you can kind of organize your files with uh, the folders. Um, yeah, the next thing is about the, the time. Actually, most people will just ignore that part, but I personally think it kind of helps if you set it correctly. Um, you can set it to be the correct date. Like right now, it's um, uh, what, what, what date? Uh, November. 11 and uh, uh, 16. So this is the current date and uh, I'll just change this to be the current time. It's uh, 11 uh, 58. This can take some time but this definitely helps especially if you film in multiple days and um, if you didn't organize the file well, like sometimes it's hard to match the audio and the camera. Um, yeah, but like if you have a good habit that you sync the audio for each day of the shooting, you should be good to go. Yeah, and uh, that's it. And now how do we start recording? Yeah, we haven't talked about that. So basically this button is pretty uh, obvious. Just press the button and uh, you can see the time is going up and it, and this changed to a circle on the left top corner yeah and now we're recording if we press it again it will just stop recording another way to do it is to press this to start recording and press that 
you can also stop recording that way. Um, yeah, and uh, of course, you should listen to um, the audio when you record. You can also play back. Like if I press that, yeah, like right now you're playing it back. Mm. Yeah, that's that's it. I think uh, we've addressed most of the issue. The most important thing I'll remind you again is make sure you have uh, 48K Hertz, 24 bit. That's the audio quality. We want the best audio quality. And the next is the phantom power. We use the phantom power to power on the microphone. And you can also use the battery. But phantom power is just usually better and you don't need an additional battery there. Um, and also, uh, if it's very loud, it's a very loud scene outside or, or you know the actor will be shouting, then just use uh, negative 20 dB for one of the inputs and so your audio doesn't get peaking. And choose a correct folder, set the date and time correctly so you know like what is what uh, in post. That's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, so this is how we use the Zoom H5 audio recorder and uh, how we use the audio kit to have a good audio quality. Uh, and thanks for watching and see you next time.